What's going on guys? Hey, I know it's been a long time since you've seen a video from me. And um, anyway, I appreciate y'all tuning into my channel. And if you will, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And leave me a comment. Um, been very busy. Uh, as you know, I drive a truck. So I stay on the road a lot and I drive a lot. Um, and it's been it's been really good. I'm, I'm glad that uh, I'm working and staying busy. But anyway, I'm making this video because I have finally decided to break down and find a day to go and do my CWP training, which is concealed weapons training uh, to get a license to carry a pistol concealed on me. And um, I live in the state of South Carolina, so uh, they have um, laws set in place that you have to uh, have a CWP. Uh, in order to carry a firearm concealed on you. Um, now, they have uh, different rules and regulations and laws set and standard. You know, you could carry a, you could carry around an AR-15 on your back or your shotgun or your deer rifle, and you don't have to have no permit for that. But as far as a pistol goes, you must have it CWP. So, but anyway, I'm going to show you uh, some of the things that you will need uh, when you go... Um, to take your CWP course here in South Carolina. First of all, I want to start with safety glasses. You will definitely need safety glasses because all the instructors require you to have eye protection. Um, and they actually do have a, uh, a rating on them, which is, um, and, I, and I'm not sure, it depends on the actual instructor, but these are A700. Um, that's a type of safety glass. Um, if it doesn't have that number on it, some instructors will ask you uh, not to wear those and they'll give you something to wear, but safety glasses is a must. Um, one other thing is uh, proper hearing protection. Um, these are a Walker uh, Slim uh, earmuffs. Um, they're, they're pretty nice. Um, I'm not sure what class they are because I've already thrown the package away and I don't remember what, what class they were, but I always keep them um, in my shooting bag. So you'll definitely need some hearing protection because if you're like me, I'm already half deaf anyway and I need to save whatever hearing I got. And you will definitely need your ammunition. And these here are uh, 40 Smith and, Smith and Wesson, uh, the uh, Blazer. Um, they're really good ammunition. It's a brass casing, full metal jacket, and um, I think uh, my pistol really likes the brass casing better than aluminum and and all the uh, aftermarket uh, reload stuff. It does really good on the brass casing. But um, anyway, I wanted to show you uh, one of the pistols that I will be carrying uh, a, a lot, um, which. I, I do carry it on my property, and when I'm in the activities of of, of hunting, um, I, I'll keep it with me. Um, well, one of the pistols I carry is, and I don't know if you guys, it's pretty hot on YouTube here lately, and that is the um, the Taurus the Taurus G2, um, and this thing is really nice. So the G2C, as a matter of fact, I don't know if you could see that or not. Um, it's kind of poor lighting, but this is the Taurus G2. It's a 12 round uh, mag. You get two mags with it. Don't worry. I'm not going to shoot anybody through the internet, but I just wanted to give you a good look at, you know, what it looks like. It's a beautiful, um, beautiful, nice little s slim, lightweight, um, good pistol to uh, carry concealed. Um, one of the uh, handguns that I will be using. And I don't buy all those expensive firearms, but uh, I will tell you right now, I have nothing nothing wrong and no problem buying a good bargain firearm. Um, one of my, and I've owned this for years, this is my Smith & Wesson uh, SD40VE. Um, I believe uh, the SD stands for Security Defense Value Enhanced. This is the Smith & Wesson. And I want to say, I've heard rumors that it is somewhat built on, like, the Glock pattern. And there was a big lawsuit um, that, you know, Glock had put on Smith & Wesson. I don't know that to all be true. But, um, anyway, it's a great pistol. You can purchase these from 
uh, Palmetto State Armory for about $279. Um, I've seen them go up to $319, but this is a, a very good pistol. Um, has the little slot there. You can see where if it's loaded or unloaded, it'll let you know if there was one in the chamber. Um, but they do come in 9mm and 40 caliber. So anyway, this uh, would definitely be one of the firearms I will um, definitely open carry. Um, when I'm in the woods or maybe at, uh, you know, a shooting range and I just wanted to, you know, bring both pistols. I actually have, uh, my Serper holster that I will be using. I'm very familiar with this holster. Um, and I'll be using it in my CWP class when I go for my CWP, but it locks in. It's very easy to use and, um, it's a retention holster. And it's, it has the paddle on it right now, which I really like because it just slides right down in your pants and you let it go and it holds. I mean, it doesn't go anywhere and you could shake this thing all day long and it's not coming out. And another thing I'll tell you, the Serpa made by Blackhawk, that's what this is made by, actually works for the G2, but they actually make the same holster that is a little bit shorter because this is a little bit longer made for the Glock. I believe it was the uh, Glock 20, 21, 37, and the Smith & Wesson M&P 45 and 40 were actually designed to fit in this. But because the Smith & Wesson is so close in the same you know, body style, it just drops right in and it works. It doesn't move. It doesn't, it doesn't come out. It, it rides there like it was meant to be there. But like I said, it's a retention holster. You just push the button and it comes out. So I am going to use uh, this pistol uh, in my CWP class uh, to get my certification. And most likely I'll be carrying my 40 around, uh, you know, wherever I go. Um, whether if it's into the, you know, out in the town, uh, out to eat, or just traveling about my, my regular travel. But anyway, guys, look, this is... Uh, just a little idea of what it takes. You'll need two boxes of ammunition um, for your CWP course um, for practice, and then one box for your final test. You know, um, you'll need safety glasses, and you will need earmuffs. And if you don't have a pistol, a lot of the CWP courses in South Carolina, the instructors have guns that you can use. So they're they're very flexible, very educated people. I've been around firearms. 30, 30 something year plus years. And I'm not saying that I am a qualified expert, but somebody who's been around firearms all their life, if someone's to tell me they've been around firearms all their life, I look at them as if they have knowledge, like they handle firearms on a day in and day out basis, like I have all my life. I've got guns that don't jump off the wall and hurt anybody in this house because we practice gun safety in this home. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Outdoors with Tim. If you will, share this video. Uh, this is just something I wanted to share with you guys, tell you a little bit um, about what it takes, you know, what you might need when you go for your CWP in South Carolina. I really appreciate each and every one of y'all tuning in. I appreciate all my views and the comments. So you guys keep them coming, and I hope I can bring you a video in the future. God bless you all, and thanks for watching.